Okay. Um, so this is how you make a carboxylic acid, or one of the ways. Does anybody remember what this type of molecule is called? Something, something with the magnesium bromide. Maybe somebody else. Grignard, right? It's a Grignard creation. Carboxylic acid is why we remember that. That's where in the carboxylic acid. Yeah. Okay, so um, this is taking a green yard reagent to a carboxylic acid. So it's a pretty useful reaction. So you can install, you know, so you had to begin with here. or you can bubble carbon dioxide through it, okay? And then, after you do that step, then there's a second step where you add acid, okay? So we're going to do this mechanism, this will be the last mechanism we do today. <coughs> can I raise that part? Yes. So this bond here, I'm gonna raise that. If you recall from last chapter, it's not, you can think of it not really as a covalent bond. Even though magnesium is very small, it's also a metal, right? So, usually, if we think back, way back to Gen Chem, right? We, when we have metal, non-metal bonds, we usually call those ionic bonds, right? <coughs> this is a mo like a kind of ionic, kind of covalent. So you can think of it like that. Okay. Carbon dioxide, hopefully you recall, again, from general chemistry, the structure of it. It's a linear molecule that looks like that. So in fact, carbon dioxide looks very much like, right, a carbonyl functionality. In fact, it's a super carbonyl. It's got, like, Two carbonyls on side. Now, what do we know about a carbonyl carbon? Super electrophilic, right? So, would you imagine this to be more or less electrophilic than like a ketone? Way more. Why? You got two oxygens pulling those uh, charge away from. It, okay. So, this is super duper positive, right? So, what's going to happen? Going to attack that carbonyl carbon. We can't have five bonds, so one of those bonds has to move up. Like that. So that's the first step of the mechanism.
So we took a Grignard reagent here, <coughs> took it all the way to a carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. But remember, we made this from an alkyl halide. So that's a pretty cool synthesis, okay? And then from that, you can make more stuff, you know, which we'll go on to talk about next time, okay? So um, are there any questions about this one? So remember, there's, there's that typo that I wrote here. Okay, so just clear that up.